Hey, this is uh, video three. I'm just jumping right back into it. I'm going to go ahead and pop open um, Komodo and just kind of go over a few of these t buttons really quick. System status it says all systems are functioning. Uh, it detected 305 viruses. Uh, network defense. Currently, I have no inbound, outbound connections. 100% uh, of my internet traffic is going through SVC host, which is probably downloading updates at this point. Um, proactive defense. Um, it's saying 27 applications are active, and it says I have 178 files waiting for my review. Well, those are Windows updates. I already know that. On the antivirus, you can run a scan. You can update your stuff. Take a look at quarantined objects. Look at your antivirus events. You can schedule scans. You can go in your scanner settings. Now we have our real-time scanner enabled. You can disable it if you want. Manual scanning. Scan memory threats on start. Uh, you can scan archives. And this is nice. Automatically update the virus database before scanning. Um, you can sc on scheduled scanning, you can automatically quarantine everything you find. And then you can also exclude items. So that's just, you know, couldn't be any simpler. Firewall. Um, not going to get into this too much because it's just so much. The cool things about the firewall, you can define a trusted application. So if like, you're playing a game or something, you can just go in here. It's as easy as selecting some file groups or running processes is what I would use. So if I wanted to make sure that my MSN Instant Messenger was able to communicate no problems at all, I would just select that, hit apply, and now that's a new trusted application. If I want to define a new blocked application, uh, let's see, I'm tired of the Java update, I'll go ahead and block it. And that would block Java from communicating with the internet. Um, that's a bad thing to do, by the way. <laughs> Don't do that. You always want to update your job. Uh, Stealth Ports Wizard. I've never even looked at it. Uh, this wizard allows you to create a group, a set of global firewall rules, which will affect your computer's visibility from other computers. I guess that's more LAN type of stuff. Uh, view Active Connections. This is what everyone would probably look at. Uh, right now, I have TCP listening on port 139. I'm not sure what that port is. I can't remember. But it shows all my active connections. If I would have viewed this when I was infected, you would have seen a lot of stuff listening. Uh, you can have port sets, my network zones, my block network zones. Defense Plus. This is probably my favorite. Because I just love this little view active process list. And you can terminate a process. Just like terminating this uh, little uh, sun thing. Uh, Java thing, terminate. And that's terminated. And I'll terminate that one. And now it's gone. It's awesome. It's like a little file assassin. Not as good as file assassin, but it seems to work pretty well. Um, you can view the events uh, plus events. You can block files. And you can go ahead and protect files from being modified. Um, and then there's a lot of other stuff in here, like protecting register keys and protecting com interfaces. And you can go into the advanced menu, go into computer policy, computer security policy. Uh, you can define predefined policies. It's a whole lot of stuff. I don't really use too much of this. So I tell you what I did use. Um, I was very interested in the view active processes list. It worked out well. It was awesome. And um, that was pretty much it from all this stuff. Uh, and then on the miscellaneous tab, we have settings. Um, unbelievably, uh, parental control stuff on here. So you can make sure your kids don't get into the uh, antivirus. Update. Automatically check for program updates. Hang on. My Sirius is freaking out here. Alright, that's better. 
Uh, automatically check for program updates. Automatically perform online lookup of unrecognized files. Check that out. It's got some cloud functionality there. O automatically perform an online lookup for unrecognized files. Automatically submit files to this uh, submission queue to Komodo. So they want to know what's happening. And then um, Komodo sets a log. You can go ahead and log stuff for them, I suppose. Um, so hang on a second. Let me pause the video. I don't even remember what time it is. Okay. So yeah, like I said, I kind of glossed over some of the Defense Plus stuff, but I, I showed you what you would use on a you know, on an infected PC. If you pop this on an infected PC, you can terminate annoying stuff like the XP antivirus, any rogue out there. Um, firewall, pretty self-explanatory. Antivirus, same way. And then you have your nice little summary screen. You can go ahead and close that. So on the next video, we're going to put um, Komodo to the adware tests. We'll see if our if we're able to use the Internet. Uh, can we browse on Internet Explorer and can we browse on Firefox? I know the answer, but I'm going to tell you in a second.